Good morning, and welcome to Coffee with Bob. It's about seven years ago that a very famous European computer hacker was able to take a high-resolution photograph of the German defense minister at the time and zoom in to the point where he could see her fingerprints and trace them in a way that he could use her fingerprints to fool biometric scanning. Now, of course, we know that as soon as you have one password, you have to update it and fingerprint the for the iPhone, the scanner or the facial scanner, even those can be duplicated by people who are very good at hacking. But they have done research and they have found in nature a pattern that they feel is currently unhackable. And it comes from the wings of a butterfly. A Serbian student was noticing the wings of a butterfly and and able to examine those under a microscope and then an electron microscope and see that there was such an intricate, unique pattern that it wouldn't be able to be replicated in any way. And so they were able to capture it in an image called a teslagram and one of the areas that they began to be using it, not only in security identification cards, but in identifying works of art. So when one art museum loans, a say, a sculpture to another art museum or a painting, when it's returned, they bring in experts to help identify that it is still the original painting and not a counterfeit. And it's a tedious process. It's an expensive process. What they can do is attach a teslagram. This is an image of the butterfly scales that can only be identified through an electron microscope, they can attach it in a way that if it is bothered with or moved or mishandled in any way that a counterfeit would have to do to uh, attach to a counterfeit painting to try to pass it off, if it's basically bothered in any way, it just like a butterfly's wings is very fragile and will uh, ruin the image and show that it has been tampered with. But once they are able to identify it, they can look at it through an electron microscope and see the image. It can't be manufactured, it can't be faked. And so here's this very simple pattern in nature, the wings of a butterfly. And each butterfly, a wing has several different areas that can produce many different patterns that can give rise to teslagrams. The butterfly doesn't have to be harmed. And so here's this beautiful way in nature to create at present time an unhackable image. And I thought about the butterfly itself. Now, obviously, the wings of a butterfly are even more intricate than our fingerprints, which are unique to us, but unfortunately still hackable by those who are really skilled. But a butterfly, as unique as its wings are, when you compare organism to organism, we are far more complex. We are far more intricate in total than the butterfly. A butterfly whose wings are so 
unique that it can be a help in the future, that it can be an unhackable device to protect artwork and uh, security systems. We are far more intricate than that. We are uh, more intelligent. We are stronger. We are better able to deal with adversity than a butterfly. They are really fragile. Now, okay, the butterfly has us that it can fly, but we can create objects so that if we ourselves can't fly, we can have that mode of transportation. We have longer life cycles than a, a butterfly. And so in, in its wings, its wings are better than our fingerprints for beating a hacker. But in almost every other way, we are more intricate, more unique. We're better than butterflies. God has created all of nature in such unique, profound ways, beautiful, strong. We have our own fingerprint of God upon our lives. We are made in God's image. It reminds me of Psalm 139, which says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, and I know that full well. This month, we are working on our gratitude journals. We are giving thanks to God for all the different aspects of our lives that make a difference to us. And so one of the ways that you can give thanks to God is for you as a creation of God. Give thanks to God. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Give thanks to God that you are so complex, so intricate, so intelligent, so unique in all of creation. There's only one you. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope you remember to write down three to five things in your gratitude journal or on your computer. Write down today three to five things for which you're grateful. Have a great day.